Good morning. It's me again, B136 on the Reddit forums. Uh, Brandon, the working man, hot pop, your mom's favorite pizza boy. Whatever you want to call me, that jerk that doesn't shut up about pomades on the internet. Anyways, I have an exciting one. Well, I think it's exciting. An exciting pomade review today. I am going to be reviewing Nostalgic Handmade. Now, let me tell you why I'm super excited about this. Uh, but first, let me show you why. I'm a huge Nintendo old school fan. I love Nintendo games. And you know what? I'm going to take you out of the humble abode of my bathroom and take you along with me real quick. So, let me show you here. Uh, so when Vans a couple weeks back put out their Nintendo collabo, I had to get myself a pair of these Zelda Vans and then these Duck Hunt Vans. I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I'm a huge gaming fan. I'm also a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. You can tell there's a little gaming painting that my friend did of a Silent Hill video game cover of me, and that's supposed to be a little seal head, because I love seals too. <laughs> Not the singer. <clears throat> so let me also take you into my little storage room area right here and show you. Here's a bunch of Nintendo games that I have. Um, I've been collecting for a while. I mean, it doesn't look a lot, but I have a lot of the classics, like, uh, are hard to get, like the Zombie Nation. I got Little Samson. Uh... Let's see here. Well, there's Battletoads versus Double Dragon. Chippendales Rescue Rangers. In fact, the reason why this is out of the case is I wanted to play it today. A little Samson. Got some Genesis games, stacks of them, some Nintendo 64 games with some sweet in labels that I actually had made. So, <clears throat> then got all my special edition of some games over here and whatnot. And all this other stuff down here which is just boxes, is a bunch of retro stuff. So, needless to say, I just wanted to share with y'all <clears throat> that I've been a gamer at heart for a really long time. So, when Old School Dave put out a water-based handmade, or a water-based pomade that was based, well, water-based and oils that were based on, uh, video games, I was super excited about this series, Had, especially since it looks like the Nintendo Power and it looks like Excitebike, Zelda, and Mario. I was really excited. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's get into the pomade because there is no bias. Just because I like Nintendo doesn't mean that the product can't suck. <clears throat> so this is made by... Old School Dave. And if you don't know who Old School Dave is, lit, sorry for butchering your name. If you don't know who Old School Dave is, he is a reviewer on Instagram. He would just write Instagram reviews and put pictures up. Then he also did a few uh, collabos with some other people. Two, well, I think I have the two that he did. He might have done more. He did one with Pomp's Not Dead called Vicious Spongin. And he did one with O'Dowd and Sheer Revival call the number three. I'm going to be doing reviews of these in the future. I kind of want to call them my pomade treasure chest or something like that because you can't get those ones anymore. At least it's really hard to get them if you can. And what I wanted to do in the future is maybe give some of those away because I haven't used a bunch of them in a giveaway. So <clears throat> stay tuned. Anyways, back at hand. So Old School Dave has always been doing collabos and I, I really liked his knowledge and I liked uh, the stuff I saw with the collaboration. So I was always waiting and waiting and hoping that he would put one uh, of his own out. And then um, Old School Dave, hailing from Mesa, Arizona, put his own set of pomades out and I couldn't be more excited about him. <clears throat> so let's go with the presentation. You can tell this is a, a Mario based pomade. Uh, it says down there, uh, scoop style save the princess. And then uh, on the side it says what the ingredients are. And one thing that makes this stuff unique about these pomades is that he uses mango butter instead of, uh, that's like one of the main ingredients. He uses uh, some of the other stuff, you know, like that, that has been used like wax and whatnot, but his main ingredient is mango butter. And I find that that, uh, 
makes it a lot more pleasant in your hair than some of the other uh, unorthodox water rays. One thing I like on the side, and I don't know if this is just like an old school thing, but it has the hold and the shine. And you can see it's three out of five, three out of five. And you know, I appreciate that when pomades used to put, or things used to put their own rating of how strong it is on the side. Thanks, old school Dave. Now I kind of know what I'm supposed to get. I'm supposed to get like a little bit above medium hold and a little bit above medium shine. So let's uh, pop it open. So this one that I have here is the original. This one's the, supposed to be the Fruit Loop scent. I also have the orange one. This was a special edition he put out. Uh, I liked the water base so much that I went ahead and, and did what I normally don't do and bought several of them. <clears throat> so. I don't know how he did this, <laughs> but he, and I'm sure you've heard this because this has been out for a little bit, but he made this smell like Fruit Loops and milk. And it's a pleasant smell. It's not super aggressive, but you'll get hints throughout the day when it's in your hair. And I, I really just, I want to eat this stuff. That's the problem with it. It smells so good is that I just want to, um, so, okay, let's look at the scooping on this. So, <clears throat> get a good bite on it. So I'm putting quite a bit of pressure. That's the only problem with this stuff is that breaking the top layer and getting it out is you have to put a little bit more pressure on it. So that's my only one gripe, but you know what? I don't care because it comes out good once you kind of put a little bit of effort. Now you're not gonna break your finger off, but it is, uh, it's harder than, it's harder than Black Ship, but it might be around the same as Crystal Lake. Uh, not as easy as O'Dowd's. So, so when it comes out, it looks like this. You can tell there's a little bit of um, a little waxy, but let's let's break it down and see what it looks like. So I'll give it the give it a little bit of a breakdown here, so you can kind of see how it's breaking down. So you can see when it starts to break down, there's the big chunk of the pomade, but it also is really shiny and really smooth. So you have to kind of you don't have to work at it really, but you have to just kind of find the chunks that you took out and just make sure you rub them into your hand. It kind of reminds me of Crystal Lake, but not as bad, because Crystal Lake, I feel like, Crystal Lake and O'Dowd's, I feel like you have to like work at it for a while. See, it's already gone. It's nice and, nice and smooth in there. So I feel like you have to work at it for a while and really get in there. This stuff, it takes maybe like 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Okay. So breaks down, <clears throat> super easy, scoops out. Moderately easy for a water base. Let's apply it. Okay, goes in the hair, nice, nice and smooth, and uh, kind of greasy. If when you put it in, it's very reminiscent of a oil based. That's what it kind of feels like to me. Could be the mango butter, but the one thing I like about the mango butter in this is that, like I was saying earlier. I feel like it's a lot more nourishing to the hair. Like it feels different than any other water based I put in my hair. So, and it washes out really easy. That's the other thing I like is that this stuff with the right shampoo will come out really easy and you don't have to sit here and, uh, you know, mess around or try to degrease with this stuff like you would with a oil based pomade. And as you can see, the application is really easy too. Putting it in my hair is a breeze. And uh, another thing, just kind of talking about the brewer while I put this in, Old School Dave's a really nice guy. He replies to his Instagram and replies to people. Uh, the, you know, this stuff is kind of hard to get as of right now. Everybody's wanting it. And the funny story is, uh, <clears throat> I saw that Old School Dave put this out, or was putting it out on his Instagram, so I was super excited and following it. And so when he released it, I bought all of the stuff originally. I just bought all three of them. I was like, I'm gonna buy all these. I wanna give them a shot. I wanna support them even if they suck. And at that time I wasn't reviewing, so I wasn't thinking, oh, I'll just review them if they suck. I was just like, I wanna support this guy because I liked his other two stuff. You know, I like, I like him as a reviewer. I like his stuff. He seems like a stand-up guy, but who knows? So, <clears throat> well, I'm gonna say he's a stand-up guy in my opinion, so. <clears throat> so. 
So anyways, um, I bought all three and what had happened is maybe a month later, the or sooner, the pump reviewed them and reviewed the water base. He didn't review all of them. And then I think the Western Gent did a few following later on. But as soon as he, as soon as the pump did a review of the water base, it became almost impossible to get it. Everyone started buying it and, uh, and wanted it because the pump said he liked it. And uh, so now, at least I'll say this, like Dave got some limelight like right off the bat. So good for him, you know? Sometimes it takes a long time for some pomade companies to get some traction, but he, he got some good limelight. Even though I'm not that big of a fan of the, uh, the pomp, I can definitely say I'm a big fan of the pomp uh, helping old school Dave get some, get some attention for this stuff because this stuff is really good. Okay, so as you saw beforehand, it goes in your hair really easy. It's slicking back really easy. It uh, with my Conair brush, and it's slicking back really easy with the the uh, smaller brush. The with this, I feel like the brush or the combs and the brush just kind of like glide through. Like I said, could be the mango butter again. This is just like a really smooth, really nice pomade all around. This is a joy. I mean, and, and with some unorthodox, you're used to having to, the top layer on this stuff is pretty rough um, at first, but once you once you dig in, it's, it's really good and creamy. So don't let that deter you. You know, you might have to work a little bit. And that's the only thing I would say that is honestly the downside about this stuff. Because as you can see, I'm kind of just blabbing right now. I could, <laughs> I could be off to work and be done really quick with this stuff because it's just that good of a pomade. It's easy to style. It breaks down pretty easy. It goes in your hair pretty easy. <clears throat> Everything about it is easy peasy, no big deasy. So I'll do a little bit of a, a tall pomp today. And it styles really easy too. Uh, like I've been showing you. So, get my comb on in my actual mirror so I can see what's going on. So one problem, styling in my, my little camera over here is a little bit tough. Okay, that's okay. You can tell it's looking pretty good and I did really no effort, really minimal trying to make this thing look good. We've got a pretty nice, tall, round looking, good smelling pomp. Go out to you go out somewhere wearing this stuff and I guarantee your hair is going to be on point. The smell is going to be on point. Some people might not like the cereal smell. Then get the, uh, if you can, I don't know, it's kind of, I think it was a special edition, but he might rebrew it. Get the orange one. The orange one smells like orange soda. Okay. So, you know, it holds up in the heat. It holds up well. This stuff is perfection in a in a jar. I love it. It's a great medium. So if you're looking for something to tame your curls or wild hair, this might not do it. I have coarse, thick, straight hair, and it tames that really well. So that being said, don't be deterred if you have coarse hair. It smells good. It holds up, I wore this to work, and I wore this on my restyling video, and I did so minimal restyles, it was ridiculous. I feel like this holds a little bit better than what it says. I feel like it's like a, a medium borderline, like a medium kind of walking through the door of a heavy, but it's not all the way in. If you anchor it down really well, it's not gonna fall out. So, I like it a lot. There's very little strays. You'll notice when I'm kind of styling on my way to work, I'm kind of doing it quick in these videos and, and trying to kind of, <clears throat> you know, so I can get to work on time. Since I'm on call, I don't have to worry about it. So I'm kind of taking my time here. But this one, I style it really quick and there's no strays afterwards. There might be like a little, oh, <laughs> I like, there's one little one. It's like my styling thing. It's the way I do it. It always has a little bit of strays. But if you do have strays, you can always just run your comb 
through it just lightly and it'll put them right back into place. So my final rating on this, you know, I'm not going to let the scoopability knock the rating down. If I had to put scoopability into it, it'd be a 4.8. I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. I think that this, for what it's trying to be, which is a medium water-based holding pomade, is perfect. It's like equal parts sticky, slickness, and gripness. It's super good, and I wouldn't change anything about it. Some people might change the smell, but I love it. And this isn't just because I'm a Nintendo fanboy or that I like old school Dave. This is just a quality product. And honestly, the oil based is quality too, and I'll get into those later on. But this is just, for this stuff right here, this, I was telling <clears throat> some friends the other day that this shot up to my second favorite go to water based. And honestly, it's pushing its way up to the top, or unorthodox water based. And it's pushing its way up right to the top. This is good stuff all around. So old school Dave, if you're watching this, thank you for making a quality product that's good for your hair, that smells good, and that is also true to your roots like this. Everything about this is perfect. If you want to try and get it, I don't know how to tell you how to get it. I'm gonna put the orange one up in one of my pomade treasure things I was talking about earlier so you can get <clears throat> the orange water base scent from me in a giveaway later on down the line when I get a few more followers. But as of right now, I know that Mr. Pomade, Pomade Club, and um, NostalgicHandmade.com and the Etsy for Nostalgic Handmade all sell them. Um, Hedgeline might have them as well, which, quick little thing on Hedgeline, I love that place. Bought some pomade, some Malaysia pomades to review coming up. Bought them on Thursday, put in the address wrong for some reason. My phone auto put it in. Tadashi emailed me and he sent them out on Friday and they're coming on Monday. Best service I've had, hands down, with it's just like a stand up place and a stand up guy. So, anyways, all of those places I just mentioned, I don't think they even have it. So, this is hard to get stuff. So, what I would say is I would follow Mr. Pomade, follow Pomade Club. Follow Hedgeline, follow Old School Dave on um, <clears throat> Nostalgic Handmade on Instagram and just see when they're going to restock. That's the best way to get information on any of your pomade followers is just follow on Instagram or Facebook. I don't like Facebook, so I just put it, just follow on Instagram and they'll post little pictures of what they have coming up. So hope you like the review, guys. Seriously, if you get your hands on this, get it if you like uh, mediums. Like I said, if you have curly hair, I don't know how it'll work, but for my thick straight hair, man, it works wonders. All right, see ya.